The Gold Coast's population is growing. In fact, it's expected to double to 1.2 million by 2050. We're about to begin stage one of our long-term recycled water release plan. That means the city will be installing two pipelines across the Broadwater and Narang River that will upgrade our current infrastructure to support this new growth. So how are we constructing these pipelines? We'll be tunnelling in two different ways, both of which will take our new pipes under the waterways and riverbeds. This will help lessen the impacts on our natural environment and our enviable Gold Coast lifestyle. At the Broadwater Crossing, shafts 9 metres wide and 20 metres deep will be constructed at either end, so a tunnelling machine can move directly under the water, all without affecting the natural environment on the waterway bed and any activities on the surface. Individual pipe segments are then lowered down the shaft and through the space created by the tunnelling machine. Over at the Narang River Crossing, we're using a different technique called horizontal directional drilling. Machines from either end will drill down, steer under the riverbed and meet in the middle, all without disrupting surface water activities and the living ecosystem beneath. A machine at one end continues working back and forth along the tunnel, making it bigger until it's big enough for our new pre-assembled pipeline to be pulled from one end to the other. Special thanks to all Gold Coast residents and visitors for your patience during these works. If you would like more information about our long-term recycled water release plan, please visit cityofgoldcoast.com.au forward slash recycled water.